It is time to meet our pet of the week from the Roanoke Valley SPCA and joining me to introduce us is Sylvie Peterson. And who have you brought today? The best gentleman you've ever met. This is Russell. Look at him. I love him. Tell us a little bit about him. He's so sweet. He is very sweet and he just thinks everybody has his best friend. <laughs> he gets all excited. He'll stand up when you walk in the room, but he's a 12 and a half year old German Shepherd mix. Okay. And he was actually with us um, like a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And he was with us for a while because um, big dogs who eat quickly, yeah. scarf down their food. Uh, can sometimes be susceptible to bloat and that's where like the stomach flips oh, wow. and it is life-threatening okay. and so he had to have emergency surgery and you know at that point he was 11 and we didn't even know if he'd make it right well look at but him now look at him so, so he's doing good now he's doing good but now let's talk a little bit about that the big dogs with the you know scarfing down their food you actually have a different sort of bowl over here that I've never seen before. Yes, it is really cool and a lot of times they use it for, for play and for treats, but for a big dog like that, you spread the food around in that bowl okay. and he has to work for it. So he eats a piece at a time instead of being a vacuum cleaner and scarfing it all at one time. Right, so that helps. It helps, it eliminates the bloat problem because he's not just inhaling everything. Yeah, uh, well he's so sweet. So, I mean, we're gonna talk a little bit about adoptable pets. It can be kind of, hard to like sell people that? Why, why is that and what do you see from that? Well they think that a, a pet that's surrendered or released is damaged goods. Right. What is wrong with this pet? There has to be something wrong with it. See he sees somebody walking. Um, but a lot of times it's just it's for reasons beyond the dogs or the right. cat's control. Right. Uh, the number one reason is it's usually there's an illness in the family or a death in the family and no one okay. in the family can take care of it. So it's very heartbreaking for everyone involved but there are lots of reasons. Yeah can we hear about I mean we have heard the you know health situation you know mm -hmm. people who are just they can't take care um, but what are some other reasons that you've you've kind of seen well uh, some people develop allergies or they have kids that suddenly have allergies to okay. the pet um, it could be that they're moving it could be that um, they're having landlord issues maybe the rules have changed and they're no longer right. or the, you know they they're forced to move to another state another city and they can't find a place that will have a big dog like this right oh hi um, which is so sad because you know people get it's, they're, it's part of the family. It is part of the family and you know, yeah. nobody likes to think of them as disposable, but sometimes they're forced to make a very difficult decision. Right. Sometimes they're financially not able to take care of the pet anymore, a divorce, yeah. a loss of a job. So, okay. you know, there's lots of reasons that pets finally, suddenly find themselves homeless. And well, let's talk puppies, kittens, you'll have whole litters. Now, what's kind of the situation there typically? primary reason is because people are not getting their pets spayed and neutered so Got it. nature takes its course and they're going right. to have litter after litter and they have to they can't find homes for them yeah. so they turn them into shelters they turn them into the pound so right. that's you know if we get spayed and neuter problem under control right. we're eliminating homelessness okay well if somebody wants to make this beautiful dog part of their home how can they come find you guys we are open noon to six every day. We're at 1340 Baldwin Avenue. And you know, I guarantee just come and meet him. He loves okay. belly rubs. He loves giving <laughs> kisses. He's a sweetheart. Yeah, he's, he's a good dog. So if you want to link to their website, we're going to have it on our website. Just go to daytimebluebridge.com. Thank you. You're welcome.